Okay, good morning, everybody. We're going to take a look at the card for Gulfstream on uh, January 4th. We are going to start off, of course, in race number one. Race number one, unfortunately, isn't such a great betting race. It's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of lightly raced horses on the turf. There's a lot of contenders. In fact, everyone but the everyone but the one is pretty much a contender. Everyone about except for maybe the one and four has a shot in this race. I would say the value is the seven. Lynn Pierre is uh, eight to one, decent value. One of the more likely winners of this race. But it's a real tough race. It's a race I'm not going to get too involved, and a lot of horses have a shot. Race number two is another tough race. A lot of horses have a chance. And a lot of these races on the uh, all-weather track um, get a lot of turfers that have never tried the track for the first time. And um, it's always a tough, tough situation when uh, you have a turf horse running on the all-weather or all-weather running on turf. These tracks are supposed to be very similar. And a lot of times they are. A lot of times horses cross over and can do well on both. But um, it's generally the right thing to uh, not really bet that a horse will cross over. You want to bet against horses that have never run on a new surface if they're short, and maybe you could throw some in if they're long. So race two, we've got a few that have uh, never been on the surface. They really have the right favorites in this race. It's really um, not a great betting race. And uh, at the end of the day, the two, five, six, the favorites will probably, probably end up in the money. Race three, another race on the all-weather track. And we have a big favorite, the two digital software, who has never been on this track. He's only been on um, on the turf, never tried the all weather. So at six to five, especially off a layoff, I would throw it out. Um, now, who to bet? There's not a lot of, um, I don't have a lot of direction here. There are a lot of horses with the shot. But um, in fact, it's almost a wheel. So I like the uh, the four long shots here, three, four, five, six, another Duke, T-Ville, Eyes of Champion, and Sun Viking. These are as good as any. I think the bottom two horses really don't have a chance. Um, so I think those four horses, the three, four, five, six, are tremendous value. It's a lot of horses to bet in a race, but if they're all 10 to one or more, um, things should pay well. If you want to box them in the exactas or use them in multi-race bets, that is uh, some good value. Race number four, another one of these situations where we have horses trying surfaces for the first time. And this is not a great race to get involved with. Um, but if I were looking for value here, I would say the one and the two. And the one, um, neither of them have, have tried the surface before, but really, really none of the horses in this race have tried the surface. The seven has one race that's not too great in the surface. And we have a lot of um, courses trying the all-weather for the first time. So not a great race to bet. For some reason, I kind of think the one and two are value, but I wouldn't be surprised with any outcome here. Race number five is a newly minted three-year-olds on turf. And it's a tough race. This is, uh, they seem to have the right favorite with the two, but this is definitely a, a tough race with a lot of first time. Actually, I'm sorry. I uh, do have an opinion in this race. The eight, Inquieta. Inquieta is a, um, I mean, this race is tough. There's a lot of horses trying the surface for the first time, a lot of lightly raised horses, a lot of unknowns. However, the uh, nine horse offers some good value because it has a really good race on turf last year at a different track. It's shipping in from somewhere else. I can't even tell where, but it's shipping in from somewhere that's unknown to Gulfstream. It has a big race on the turf as a two-year-old. And if uh, if it comes off, it's a little three month layoff. Well, this horse should dominate. So the nine in Kieta is uh, one of the best values of the day. The next race, race six, there's a, a decent bet here. I think the one rosy holiday anywhere near the six to one price is good value. And uh, I would use it with the four elusive Molly at five to one. The um, Favorites five and seven are okay. The seven is, is the right favorite, but it's a little suspect. And a seven to five, I would throw it out and go with the one or the one four. Race number seven is uh, just a very tough random race. Newly minted three-year-olds. I uh, really wouldn't get too involved in this race. They seem to have the right favorites, but the favorites really aren't that much better. So it's just a tough race, the race I would stay away from. 
Eighth race has some decent value. Um, the favorites are okay, but I think the two Artemis Bridge at six to one is is one of the better values of the day. And um, you know, there's some long shots you could just screw around with. The one officer country I would probably use it with, um, along with the eight quiet out east at ten to one. And you can use it with the favorites. The favorites are all okay. Nothing special, but I think the two Artemis Bridge is the most likely winner of this race, and at six to one is a good price. And then the last race, uh, not such a great betting race. A lot of horses have a shot. A lot of um, a lot of two year old, a lot of newly minted three year olds with lightly raised. I would say the best horses are unfortunately short. The eight Valiant Shishi and the two Gomika at four to one and five to one. They're, they're not horrible prices. It's not like they're big favorites but um, I would use those too. And that is it. That is the card for today. You can see behind me, Better Takes. That's uh, our, our sports betting app. So go to the App Store in the Apple App Store and download Better Takes if you bet on sports. You can find your strengths and weaknesses and figure out where your expertise lies and hopefully make more money betting on sports with our app and it's free. So check out Better Takes and good luck at the races.